Hello guys, welcome back to the the channel. I'm Chloe Moly here with my sister. Hello. We're playing more Message in a Haunted Mansion. Uh, we found a mysterious key and a cassette tape, and we need to go to Abby's room. Don't get distracted. <laughs> well, no, I was just thinking about her little journal thing, and it shows stuff. So why so many? Why is Charlie so uptight about them? Um. Oh. Faked, uh, seance, secret attic, who's who, seance, hoax, <laughs> young, an inexperienced for work, an antique, antique dealer. dealer. Okay, so this is basically like the, I never knew that. <laughs> basically, it's kind of like the, um, in the new Nancy Drew games, you, get a you cell have... Phone. Or a journal. Yeah, you have kind of a journal you keep on you. And this one, she it's just... It's not on you, but you have a journal. <laughs> so when you go to Abby's room, quick, go, go. Before she gets back. That's the wrong direction. What are you doing? No, back! Down that hall. Jeez. What's the matter with you? Oh, ghost girl. Hi. Spoopy. She's out there. Quick, go to the radio. Turn, 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 turn. Was this the thing that was locked? No, we opened that. There's this. Um. Yeah. Pick out your cassette tape. Um. Hmm. Oh, I think we need to open her wardrobe to listen to it. And we need the spider thing for it. Something's missing here. There's something locked in here that I can unlock. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's <laughs> Hmm. Maybe we need to talk to more people. Maybe because I'm wanting to know. Oh wait. No. Well, like uh, I still think that because that's a four-sided box. I think we need to open that box somehow. Yeah, I do believe. Is the concealed glory stuff? What's that? Where was the locked thing? I know we saw. Was it the vent? No, I don't think the vent was locked. Because even then, if you were to unlock the vent, what would that do? I don't know, maybe you'll find a recorder in there. And you'll, like... Because I feel like we saw, we ran across a locked thing, didn't we? I don't think so. I'm sure we ran across some kind of locked thing. She refuses to believe me. <laughs> but I do think we need to talk to people. Yeah, go talk to Rose, I guess. Or even, what's his face? Louis Pinocchio. <laughs> yes. Let's go Pinocchio's nose. Pinocchio's nose. Is he gonna be there? of how we turned completely the other direction first. Hello, Nancy. I was wondering whether you knew anything about someone named E. Valdez. Let's ask this e. great Valdez. Christmas gold robbery. No, I've never heard of that name. But I'll jot it down and let you know if I come across it anywhere. Do you know who Lizzie Applegate was? I randomly saw her in a library book. <laughs> and now I gotta ask everyone if they know as well. Did you randomly find it? <laughs> hey, I did too. <laughs> I went to feel special. I want to know about Have the Christmas gold of robbery. Christmas gold robbery? <laughs> of course, although it never actually occurred. Fictional history, a folk legend, a complete myth. But nonetheless, it's still a fascinating story, even though it isn't true. What kind okay, of Pinocchio. Do you, you sure yeah. know about things not being true. Gallery, not <laughs> like all those lies you tell. <laughs> Specializing in the Victorian period. 
I have clients from all over the world, and if I don't have what they're looking for, I find it. Was this house once a home? Is this house really a home? <laughs> That's hard to say. The house has been renovated many times, but several of its original features, such as the saloon and staircase, seem to indicate that it may have been a hotel. Unfortunately, there are no records on this house before 1906. Hmm. What was the Ladies' Protection Society? A popular charity in the early 1900s. They helped widows and orphans. Do you think Charlie is doing a good job? Certainly. He's rough around the edges, but he's reliable and learns very quickly. He's just what Rose and I need. I Rose and you, you um... Nice to see you again. What do you have to do with any of this? You're just an antique dealer. Hmm. What does the poem say again? The poem, the one that that says things. Yeah, hang on, let me pull it up. Um, listen, my child, to the story of dreams. And know that the beginning is more difficult than it seems. When the ten daughters are oh. reunited in order, when the four-sided box loses its border. Does Charlie live around here? Which I don't think is that thing in the room because I think that has to be three-sided. I don't think that's four-sided. He said he's staying with friends. No, a pyramid has four sides. When the eye of the phoenix is in you your hand, Charlie when the bird of fire can be again, when the moon sleeps Abby and the sun is, plays, the sure. king of the sky really will him, shine his rays, and hidden beneath a river of colors will lie a gate to golden go. wonders. So hmm. Try coming down there like at three in the morning to snoop Rose's things. Okay. One of the drawers down there was locked, wasn't it? And the basement? No, where's Rose's? We probably have to do that later. I was just trying to think. I know something was locked. That's not locked. I feel like I know I saw something locked. I know we got a key to something. Well, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> we have a key to something. Okay, That's we'll just, what I know. Just try to go in and snooping Rose's things. Go at like an odd hour, like three in the morning. Yeah, if she's awake at three a.m., then you work too hard, girl. <laughs> take a nap. I could, you know, I'll just take her stairs right here. What am I doing? I'm being silly. Open sesame. Guess what? It's me. Okay. There we go. What you got for us? Pay bills, transfer money, checking, order paint, measure windows through blinds, replace lost tiles, re re refinish kitchen cabinets, sand and polish hardwood floors, oil door hinges, repair hanging gutter, get estimate uh, to fix roof, call chimney cleaner, repair dumb waiter, fix broken doorbell, add additional phone lines, order bulbs for the front yard. Dear Rose, what a pleasure it was to meet you and Abby. As we have discussed, I am extremely interested in examining the collection of old books that come with the house. They will help me considerably with my research of Victorian antiques. In exchange, I will be more than happy to consult you on renovations. Victorian homes pose many different <laughs> pose many difficulties, both structurally and aesthetically, especially for an amateur renovator like yourself. Wow, rude. Jeez. <laughs> Glad you have faith in me. <laughs> my expertise in this field can serve can save you both time and money i will come over tomorrow at noon to show you the roof tiles i found for you i also found a good deal on scaffolding equipment so he was the one who provided the scaffolding equipment let's see broken kitchen gas line burst water scaffolding collapse vandalism damage to outside shrubbery stolen roofing materials 
And then the guy just so happens to find those materials. Is that something different? Okay, yeah. Dear Mrs. Green, we have received the accident reports that you have submitted and have summarized. <coughs> Excuse me. <Bless> you. <laughs> have summarized them below. We are very concerned about the high number of incidents that you have experienced and uh, although we would not like to raise your insurance policy premiums, we must examine this option if these accidents continue. We are also delaying any payments until we can send our building inspector to examine your property to determine if there are any safety concerns with your renovation methods. Please call us to make an appointment. Get in her purse. Can I? Is that it? That for all frickin' it. Hmm. Let's try scooping the library over here. It's just, it's, it's frustrating. There's like a crowbar, maybe? Maybe if you look. Well, maybe if I look. <laughs> no, but like if you go where the scaffolding is. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Okay, a phoenix. Great. <laughs> All right. Glad we looked at the floor for a second there. Because I feel like there might be something else on the shelf because it's like, the, you know, the first thing you get. Try looking up. Like. No? Okay. Hmm. Let's try and... HELP! <laughs> Basically. <laughs> One, five, two, What three, are we supposed to do? Four, I feel like somebody's four. gonna come running this way. Like, why are you screaming for help? <laughs> help me! Help! <laughs> this is Bess. And George. Hello, you two. Hi, Nancy. How are you? Let's talk about all Rose the things. Is really lucky. This antique dealer, Louis Chamber, is helping her out. Although he doesn't know very much about the house's history. That makes sense. If the house was built before 1906, most of its records were probably destroyed in the earthquake. But what, is the, what is this weird earthquake that I keep hearing about that I know things. nothing about? I'm sure he knows a lot about old stuff, just not architecture or houses. Abby hosted a seance and contacted the spirit who's haunting the house. Did you actually see the ghost? Yeah, right. I'm sure it was some kind of trick. Abby sounds suspicious. Yeah, maybe she's hiding something. She probably knows more about the house than she's admitting. Can you guys give me a clue? I'm not sure what to do next. The key to the attic is probably as far away from the lock as possible. Can you okay. guys give me a clue? I'm not give sure me another what to clue. do next. The key to the attic is probably That's... as far away from the lock as possible. I should get going. Talk to you later. Call us! No! <laughs> I did call you, and look what good you did. Maybe we should look something up. <laughs> I wonder if we have to play the maze game. <laughs> oh, it starts us where we left off in the maze. That's nice of it. I'm gonna go ahead and do this because it may be something that is it's something we have to do. Oh. 
noticed a, um, on the entrance policy, it has the, the symbol for fire. Oh, uh, but you, then what do we do with that? You've got to take a picture of it, for one. Okay. This part of the maze looks spoopy. This guy only. This is on the cash register, girl. It is? Yes. The key? See, sometimes you should let me click buttons because you seem to miss things. Hey, you miss things too. I didn't get to click around the cash register. That doesn't mean you, I'm the only one who misses things. You missed things. <laughs> I'm not and perfect. And there's also <laughs> pictures we need to get as well. Okay, so first we'll go and... Wait, where's the insurance policy at again? It's for roses. In the drawer. Okay, yes. So we'll go and look at that. To satisfy your cranky butt. Yeah. Doing your crankiness. Boom. Fire. Fire. There it is. Stop harassing me, okay? Oh. That's okay. I'm an innocent girl. <laughs> no, you're not. You're anything but innocent. Shut up! Don't ask you! <laughs> I at least don't do I may not be 100% innocent. <laughs> But I don't deserve this harassment. <laughs> and then on the piano. Go to the piano. Um, here, click on... It's gonna be on this piano. There's gonna be the symbol for... River. It's stuck. I don't see what you're talking about. Maybe we have to wait till we open the thing. Probably, cause then. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Shut up. <laughs> this is why I should do the clicking. No, oh. I want to be a part of the game too. <laughs> This is my channel. <laughs> I get to be involved in things. There it is. Uh, Cause I hovered over there but I didn't see anything. I did just- You know how picky these older games are, Courtney. Don't get mad at me. It's not my fault. I try my best. <laughs> baby best isn't hard enough. <laughs> you call me a baby! <laughs> no, baby! <laughs> Dude, Abby snores. It's locked. Yes, it is. Let's open it. Finally. Whoa. <laughs> like, should we actually go in or we just close it? Like, well, there's a scythe there. Apparently, the Grim Reaper lives here. There's a tile. tile. Yee. Golden Gate Gazette. That guy has dentures on his head. Gazette, side. probably Gazette. Okay, well, oh my god, that's not creepy at all, is it? An iron. iron. We can push it upon Pinocchio's face. <laughs> it's been decided. Just set his face on fire. <laughs> this is what I would do. Ooh, a book. We found two more symbols, so I'm gonna write this down. Um, pretty Some much, we need four more symbols. Uh, puzzle. There's my mind or uh, counting. Puzzles are full of. Even in the far where their traditions are so different from the woman is still complained to or confined to the something 
and meek so, so, or intellect. Alright, well, I don't feel like that's being helpful right now. Yeah, I know. I can that's even worse than the other one. It's Jeez. one of the things of, it wouldn't be so bad if, like, the graphics and everything was better, but these graphics are kind of not so great. Crowbar. Well, I knew there was a crowbar we were supposed to get. Well, I knew there was, too. I just figured it was in the attic, and I was right. It locked. The key. It locked. Oh, the other key. Yeah! Did that one. That's what we need to play, I think. Okay. I'll wait in Yoruba Buena Town. The Bandit's Treasure. These notes here. Yes. Oh, the ones that are kind of highlighted. Do, do, yeah. do, do, do. Um. This is the tale of the bandit's loot and how it came to be that golden dreams of blissful love soon failed you and me. Oh, my love, ride far and fast for me. I'll wait in your Buena town and a house high above the sea. I traveled as far as the golden gate where I held your treasure true. Where the rainbow ends in Christmas gold and the phoenix rises too. Oh, my love, ride far and fast for me. I'll wait in your Buena town in a house high above the sea. Christmas gold, the thing that that guy said never happened, which maybe did. And you just want to take over now. Well, I see how you gotta take turns. Yeah, yeah, whenever I do stuff, you're like, you should just let me play the whole game by myself because you suck. <laughs> Dear Pin. Dear pig, <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> Letter this shall serve as an introduction to my faithful employee, Wong Tang, who has had been in my service on... Of, as head chef. As head chef? Oh, I thought he was calling him an airhead there for, <laughs> for over 10 years. And my service is a freaking airhead! <laughs> I can't cook shit! <laughs> I asked him to make stove top macaroni and bring the house down. That I hired him. No, that I must. <laughs> you should charge him. <laughs> I'm all close enough. <laughs> and it, were it not for, for the retirement, retirement of, of my establishment, I would still. Retain his, his service. Yeah. Valdez. Sincerely Valdez. Ooh, there's a picture. Of? Is it a the random person we was asking everybody about. Oh, I guess she really is important. Applegate. Secret secrets. That. Beginning. Beginning. This is the beginning to your end. Oh yeah, where the beginning is not as easy as it seems. Gotta click the page. Yeah. Click, 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 click. Gotta fold it back in half properly and put it back. Put that thing back where it came from or so help me. <laughs> what are these things? Ooh, a candle. The, the Historious sto Book. Sto story Book. The his Historious Story Book. <laughs> okay, so she pushed hair out of her face. That's great. Can we turn page? Nope, it's just a storybook. Okay, bye. <laughs> Pointless! Seems useless! useless. <laughs> Is that it? Is there not really nothing else? Not even like a, a code for a... A thing? Yeah. Well, we'll probably have to come back up here at some point. And hide. And hide? Crowbar. It's stuck. I can never get out of here. And now we can uh, go to the basement. Mm -hmm. Go to the basement and throw some woods. What are you doing? I don't know. I thought maybe it could show me a secret. <laughs> <laughs> show me your secrets! <laughs> But you know what? We'll go to the basement on the next episode because this one has been running for quite a while. So give me that. <laughs> no, but it's no. We're just no, right we, here. We we please. Gonna, wait, stop. We're gonna be doing mm. another, one more episode today. Okay. So calm yourself. Okay. So that's <laughs> my sister doesn't know how to be professional. <laughs> okay. So that'll be it for this episode. But uh, we we'll see all you guys next time on Message in a Haunted Mansion. Peace out.